Hey, Jeremy here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to craft your UI portfolio website in only 10 minutes. And thanks Box Mode for sponsoring this video. Now with Box Mode, they have a website builder where it's super simple because it's drag and drop. They have a bunch of editable templates that you can use as well. They're very handy with the SEO and analytics tools, and you just have control on how your website looks. They also have integrations with Unsplash so you can use images, which is really cool because you can start for free and um, get a free trial. And here's some of the templates. I'm going to be using a template called Click Art today, but there's a whole bunch of different templates for, you know, if you're designing for a client, like maybe it's an education or travel client or a beauty client, they have all those things. Or maybe you just want to do your portfolio, then they do have stuff for that. So for this one, I'm going to be using the Click Art template. All you got to do is once you have an account, you just start website for free and you can play around and start building out your own website. So let's jump right into the template and start to build our portfolio. So you can see here, this is what the template looks like. Every part of it is editable. So I can double click edit text. I can edit text up here. I can add assets and logos. You know, I can play around, add colors and change the fonts. You've got so much control over what you can do. And I think this template is just a really um, good to start off with. So I'm gonna double click on the top. I'm gonna type Jeremy Mura. So first off, I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna go find another font. I like rubric, so I'm gonna pick that. And I'm gonna pick uh, bold. You can see it actually has all the styles there, which is really cool. So I'm gonna pick that. And you can also change the color as well. Um, but I'm just gonna leave it on a, a dark color there. Now you can also got a menu here. So I'm gonna, you know, make it a bit wider here. And what you wanna do is I can go to settings and I can actually change the headers. So if I click the three buttons, I can click settings and what I can actually do is change the about page if I want to about Jeremy. Um, I can change the portfolio if I want, settings. You can hide from menu. So if I want to hide the menu, I can click that and it's not going to show on the menu. So I've got about Jeremy portfolio and home, which I think is cool. Usually um, home, we can hide that as well from the menu. Beautiful. Just keep it really simple and easy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click edit on this image here and then you'll get an option. You can see the little black tabs at the top. You can actually click that to change the image. And I've gone ahead, I've already uploaded some images here, but all I gotta do if I wanna upload my own images, all I gotta do is click add file, or I can literally just drag and drop a file if I want. So if I go to my brand photos, and it's gonna load that image into the um, manager here, which is manages all your media and all your images. Once it's done, you just select it, and it should add that image right into the top. Beautiful, excellent, love that. What I can do now is double click on the text and everything is editable. So whether it's text, an image, a color, I'm a designer, I can say brand and UI designer from Sydney. Now, if we wanna edit the text, remember all you gotta do is click edit and then we locate. For this example, I'll use rubric and I'll go um, semi bold as you can see we can also select different headings so you can go heading 3 heading 4 and it will apply that type style to your text so for this one this one's on comma I'm gonna leave that font right there and then what I can do is I can just copy and paste some text and drop some text in there and beautiful looking good now what I want to do is I want to change this blue and I'm gonna change it to my usual orange color like this I can copy the hex code right here and if I click off it should automatically just change that text super simple now, what if I wanted to uh, change this button? All I gotta do is click the button, and then what you can do is actually change the link with the link button. So maybe you wanna send it to uh, a new page, a URL, or a YouTube channel, whatever it is, you can put that link right there, which is cool. You can even send it to an email, and um, I'm just gonna back out of that. But I wanna change the design, so I'm gonna click the little design button. Now, what I wanna do is I do want to change um, the background. So I'm gonna select background, I'm gonna make it, let's go, let's make the button orange. I'm gonna copy that hex code I had before. And the text color, I wanna make the text white. I also wanna change the text, so I wanna say, uh, work with me, cool. Now, what if I want to change the hover state? All you gotta do is select the hover button like this, and I can make it black for now. So now when you hover over the button, you can see I can automatically preview that and it's making it um, black, which I really like. You can also add shadows, you can add uh, a border, you can do a whole bunch of different stuff. 
I also want to adjust this font as well. So I'm going to just play around and let's try and find another font. I think that looks pretty cool. Excellent. So I'm going to scroll down here and I'm just going to upload an image. So I'm going to click the image, click edit, and I'm going to click change image. I've got a whole bunch of different images here. I'm going to select one of my client images here, which I think is really cool. I'm going to drop some text in here. I can delete something. So if I want to delete something, click it and just click the little bin button. And we've got that text here. And I can edit this text. So maybe it's a bit small. I can change it to heading one, make it a bit bigger. I'm going to scroll down here and we've got services. I'm going to change this heading like this. Beautiful. Once we've done that section, what we can actually do is go to the portfolio section. Now for me, I like having a dark background. So I'm going to click on the background. And you can see here, we can adjust the actual padding as well. So I can move this up and down if we want less space. I can click and just click on the paintbrush again. And what I want to do is just change the background. So I'm going to click background and you can add an image for the background or just leave it on the color. As you can see the icon here, I'm going to click this and I'm going to make it black. I'm going to edit this text as well. I'll make this text white. Um, and I'll go view my portfolio. And we'll go orange color, beautiful. Now what we can actually do is I can play around with these um, gallery template. So I'm gonna select, and you can see, if we click on templates, this little drop down menu, we can actually change the look and style of the grid. So if you want a different gallery um, or style, as you can see, maybe we want this one here, a mosaic, I'll choose that. And it's gonna change the vibe of the overall design, which is really cool. I'm just going to edit the text here because you can see it's changed it. Portfolio and it'll automatically replace all the text and everything you need. Now, what if you wanted to edit the photos, you can click on settings. Once you click on it, you can change the format. You can add animation as well. But for this one, what we want to do is just add and change the photo. So I'm going to click on the three dots and click change media. Now, what I have to do is put my mouse over the image or ask if you want to bring them in from the computer or from the library. So if I click library, it will load up the image library here and I can just add some of the photos from my clients. So I can change this one. I can change this one as well. And I'm just gonna go through here and add some of the those client projects. Change media and it loads really, really fast as you can see there. You can also delete one so we can click this and I can click delete and only have four items. So if I click off it now, you can now see all these photos like that. We can adjust the height as well. So maybe this section is too big. I can bring that up like that. Or you can see all our projects are looking great. If you want to change the text, all you got to do is go text settings and you can change the title of it. Settings, click text settings. And I can say um, personal brand needed revamp. And I can put a title. Mac McCloud, just like that. And you can see there the description will change and you can do that for the rest of them, which is really cool. You've got some other things here as well and you can even add things. So if you wanted to add different sections, you can go to the top, the left corner and you got a menu here. If you click the plus button, you can add, you know, buttons, you can add typography, you can add columns if you want, containers if you want. You've got media, so if you want to drag a video, you even got widgets, things like slideshows, galleries, a uh, blog, uh, map as well. So if I want to drag a map, maybe I want to put it at the bottom somewhere here. I'll drop that map in and you can see it's going to load that in. So I want to just drop it behind below this contact. So it's that easy to drag and drop. And then you can just click delete to delete things that you don't want. Now let's go down and update our footer. We've got our footer here. You can see I'm just going to change this. We've got our socials here, so I can click on this social and you can see the icons already there. I can just click on it and then click the little link icon there. And now if I go to my Instagram, I can copy and paste that link in there and I can click open in new tab and it should open my Instagram. So you've got the URL. You can also change it to a jump to a page or to an email, whatever you like. We've also got the pages there so you can see we can leave that. I'm just going to click on the background. I want to change the color to you know make it a bit darker here and then you can see here the footer section as well i want to change the background to that same color 
and you can see it's a bit hard to find all the containers and selections. One of the cool things with ClickArt is if you go to the left hand side, you can click on layers and you can see you got this layer panel, right? So it's going to show me with these blue little arrows what's currently selected. So we can see we've got a container, we've got um, a footer and within that we've got a few containers in the footer. So if I click on this container, you can see it's hosting all these things inside that box, right? I can click on it and open it so I can find each individual element, right? So if I want to you know, make sure the containers are the same color, right? I'll select the um, the container, I, then I can go to the background color and then change it here. Copy the black color that I had before. You can see the form, um, same thing for that. I'll go to the background and click color, paste in the hex code, and now everything should have the um, same color. So I'm gonna exit out of that, and I'm just gonna make sure the hex code is that. So now we've got a black, um, black footer there, which looks really cool. And then we have a form here, which is really cool. And what you can do with forms is obviously you can set it up. So if I click settings, I can, you know, add a different field. So if I want to add, you know, a text input or a checkbox, whatever it is, I can click text input and I can um, click settings and change it to first name, which is really cool. And I just want to drag it on top. So now we've got the first name there, which is looking good. We can change um, the fields, you know, the fonts, the color, etc. So if I want to go label color, make it white, that's totally cool. And I think that will be fine. Um, check your, we can change what happens when they get the email, what's going to pop up. You can say subscribe or get, um, get on the list. So we've changed that. Uh, we can also change the button color as well. So let's, so we've got that. So basically we've got our homepage. It's all done here. Uh, I like the look of it. Now what you can actually do is go to the top left corner, click on the page button drop down, and you want to click on the three dots on the homepage and click settings. Now this allows us to change the page name and we've also got SEO. So you can see SEO. What we want to do is we want to sort of add text. So I'm going to add some SEO here, homepage. We can add some keywords here, um, brand designer from Sydney, helping startups. So this basically will pop up on the first line in Google. So make sure that you type something there. We've also got mechanical link there. Usually that's for socials and stuff. And if you want to block search indexing, you can do that. You can turn all these off if you don't want Google to index it. You've also got social links you can add there. You've got the page title as well. Um, but that's for the social links. So I've got this home during mirror and then I can click apply and it should apply to that. Now, if we want to make this website responsive, we can see in desktop view looks good. You want to go to the top and at the very top, you can click and change the iPad view. So we can see um, right now it's looking good. So as I can scroll down, you can see we have everything within that space. It's really cool. Now, if I go and click on the mobile breakpoint at the top, you can see now things start to shift a bit. So, you know, we can edit some things if it's not working out. So you can see all the text is stacked here. We can change the sizing of things if you want. So maybe, you know, this text, um, I want to like make it a little bit, you know, smaller or bigger. Maybe we want to go like 48 and then like center it so I can change the centering of that. You can see here that this text is a bit tight. So what we can actually do is add some spacing. So I'm going to click on the grid. I'm going to go to my CSS panel. And we have full control over the spacing and the sizing, which is really cool. So you've got, you know, flex box, you've got display, um, you know, typography, background, all those little things. But the layout is the main thing we want to want to change. So you can see um, we've got our inner, inner box. So the height here, um, I want to add some padding. So you can see there's 15 padding on the sides, but vertically, I want to add like 15 pixels. So now you can see the size added a bit more space to the top and also to the bottom there. So now it's it's a bit more readable, this this font, which is really cool. Now scroll down and yeah, you just want to basically check everything is like working and in check. Um, the text here, you can see the text is a bit, maybe a bit too big. So I'll drop it to like 36, the side, I can type it in the panel actually. So in the CSS panel, when you click on an object, it's going to give you all the options here, which I think is really nice. Beautiful. And I think that looks good. Now with the image, I could, you know, Maybe make it a bit smaller if I want to, or I could leave it off, leave it there. 
Maybe I just want to crop it a bit in like that. I think that looks good. And I think it's really cool. So let's go and click preview. And that's how it's going to look on mobile. It gives you a little frame of a mobile there and the web version. This is what it's going to look like. It looks really great. And you know, when we want to publish, go to the top right corner and just click publish. And then you can see, um, I'll put Jeremy Mura. And then if you don't have a domain, it will just going to give you .box mode .io. You can click publish. I'm just going to go copy. Paste that and now you can actually see the website is all live. You can see all the buttons there. Um, you can click them. You can see if I want to click on the Instagram one as well. That works. You can type in my name, you can fill in that. So that's how you use box mode. It's a really cool tool if you want to build websites. Drag and drop, really easy. You've got powerful CSS panel, Flexbox, and it's really easy just to edit things live. You can click on things, it's really simple. And they've got a whole bunch of different templates you can use. So if you wanna try it out, click on the link below and you'll get 15% off. Use my code, JeremyBM, for 15% off your account and subscription. And it's gonna be super cool to see how you create your website. So thanks so much for watching, really appreciate it. And drop a comment if this was a useful video and subscribe for more design content. Thank you.